Oh. Oh. Oh, my. Look, this is exactly what's going on, right? It's a lot of speculation going on. And y'all know me. I'm going to always keep it real. You understand, G? And it been a lot of talks in the air. Uh, and y'all know what I do. I keep it always street. This real street entertainment right now. Y'all done stepped into the building. Y'all run them lights up, get me hyped up. But at the same time, man, we finna go extra. And you know we got to keep it real because this is real street entertainment, right? Peep gun. They saying there's a lot of talks in the air. There's a lot of talk in the air with the young dudes and the people who've been in the game, you know what I'm saying, who did their thing and laid it down, you know what I'm talking about. You know, with Honeycomb Brazen and Pimp C. Honeycomb Brazen and Pimp C. Well, y'all got to feel me when I say this. Pimp C was a great. Honeycomb Brazen, great. And he coming up right now. Y'all got to feel that. Oh, my, what it do, my guy? You know what I'm saying? Shout out to everybody who run it up with me. We over here on IG. Make sure y'all lock in on my YouTube channel. Stay in G1000. Oh, my. Y'all know what's going on. Yeah, y'all know what's going on. But, yeah. You know what I'm talking about? It's a lot, it's a lot of folks talking. You know what I'm saying? And they, and they, a couple of folks saying, like, my Pimp C harder, you know, than, 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 than Brazen. But, I'm only going to speak on people who really got a name in these streets, who really doing their thing in these streets anyway. So if you really doing your thing, you know, I'm going to salute you sooner or later. But let's keep it real, though. Man, y'all got to understand me when I say this. Pimp C in the streets, that boy was cold. He was a, he was a cold person, you know what I'm saying, in the streets. Like Honeycomb Brazen in the streets. You can't mess with him. You know what I'm talking about? And I, and I, and I got to keep it real on that. But at the same time, man, finesse, he kind of knocked his sip out the box with this situation. And him going against, my, going against, you know what I'm saying, uh, my guy. You know what I'm saying? Going against Honeycomb. He really knocked his sip out the, out the park and really exposed his own hand. So he finessed himself in this situation. So since he finessed himself, you know what I'm saying, we only can look at it for what it is. You know what I'm talking about? And, you know, Honeycomb even got more street ties. So he went in, in the streets, and they going head up on the beats as far as, you know what I'm talking about, with, um, as far as on, on the rapping level, you know what I'm saying, on the beats. They going about head up, but in the streets, come on now, y'all know what's going on. Y'all know who went in, in the streets. You know what I'm saying? And let me bring up none other than my guy, 17. You understand, G? And let's get real. You know what I'm saying? 17. You gotta uh you gotta hit that button, my G. Hit that, hit that button, my G. Y'all know it was going on. Oh my. You know what I'm saying? For real, Jay, my guy 17 had been all the way Y'all know what's going on, Jay. You understand, G? See, we got to break it down, and I got to keep it all the way real. 17, what it is, my G? What's up with it? <clears throat> uh, you already know what's going on. The people got to see your face so they know you in their place, Jack. Hold on, I work this shit. Man, you, you just gotta, you gotta, uh, it's a button you can, there you go. Oh, man. Hey, break it down and tell these folks who you will, sitting saying. Oh, man. I'm just a street nigga, man. If they don't know me, don't worry about it. He <laughs> said, you don't know me, don't worry about it. <laughs> nah, it's UGK for life, though. Niggas know that, man. Anybody who really know, you know. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Okay, you. I know you've been hearing a lot of the rhetoric that's been going on, my G. You know what I'm saying? 
Like, you know, yeah. break break you on you and Pimp C relationship down. Uh well shit, I met Pimp uh when I was going to get a feature. And then um uh, I'm from Mississippi, nigga. Don't get it twisted. Oh my uh, niggas in Mississippi in a building. Yeah. And um then shit, the nigga kept me. So I lived with him till he passed. You know, all that. That's a whole different interview, you know. Y'all exactly. check out the V High. Yeah, check out the V High interview for all that. I don't feel like getting sad tonight, nigga. I'm smoking. What's happening? I see. All right, Pete Gang, though, bro. I know you. I know you done heard a hundred Kong Brazer, right? Yeah. And you know what I'm saying. A lot of people is speculating on this on this topic. They saying Pimp C is. They, well, a lot of the youngsters saying Honey Kong Brazer harder than Pimp C. And how you feel about that? Just that right there. I mean, when I first heard it. Didn't uh, little homie said it though, didn't he? Didn't Brazy say it? Yeah, he said it. He said it. Okay, yeah. so when when I first heard him, <clears throat> I mean, you know, I love I love Big Bro, man. That's I done got myself in trouble over all these years getting blackballed and some more shit. You know what I'm saying? I done went that. I done been in tour with the same people as man. You know what I'm saying? So I felt this frustration. You know what I'm saying? And uh. I don't, niggas don't really realize I didn't, I didn't see a lot of shit over the years. It was all true, but mm -hmm. you know, sometimes you speak out of frustration, you just, whatever. So when I first heard it, it was like, man, this little nigga tripping. You know what I'm saying? Like, but when you do this rap shit or when you do this, you you have to think that you the best. You feel exactly. me? You have to. Exactly. You know That's what I'm saying? So, yeah, so, um, I don't think he was, I don't think he was disrespecting Big Bro at all. You know, when you, it's it's a shock when you first see it, but when you when you look at everything that's going on, the nigga ain't nothing but an hour away from me, man. I know I was living down here. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like he really just showing niggas the shit that we ain't really been showing or whatever. We let him think, you know what I'm saying, this country or whatever down here, we ain't doing nothing but shit. He really showing these niggas like, nah, nigga shit. We don't I'm, run from I'm, nothing. I'm gonna keep it real, bro. I really feel like honeycomb braids is harder than Pimp C. You know what I'm saying? There's not. Oh hell no! Nah, you tripping? You tripping? You tripping? On, trip. on the beat, I ain't talking about. I'm just saying on the beat. On the beat, what? Do braids and produce? You know what I'm saying? Oh, that, that's what he don't got to at. producing and in the streets. He, I don't think. I think they head up in the streets. But far as just him rapping, I think. I think he got like he was better with like punchlines and metaphors and switching his flow Ooh. and stuff like that. Honey gone crazy. I ain't see this this one on do interviews. I'm just starting to do interviews and shit. <laughs> I <laughs> say I right. say shit well, when see, it come out wrong. Come see, you heard some of his probably his coldest material. Have you heard Hell yeah, yeah. Come on, man. You tripping, man. You yeah. tripping, man. Hey, look, listen. <laughs> Salute to the young homie, man. Salute, man. I hope everything go right for him. On everything I love, I know what it's like to be blackballed and and niggas know you got talent. Niggas know whatever, whatever, and they I know what that's like. So I really do hope homie do that. But hell no, nah, nigga. Hell no. Nah. Harder than pimp. Come on, man. Yeah. What's your hardest pimp nah. song? Niggas too many. I feel. But if you want to know, if you want to know, like what I listen to, like. When I'm getting in the zone, nigga, just don't even go back to the the older shit because there's so many younger people now. Go listen to Switches and Dose. Go listen to uh to to uh just a G. Go listen to uh to uh quit hating the side. Go listen to uh come on man. Yeah, so uh, we gotta bring the young dudes music. up on this type of music because now they're gonna be toned in when they say, Okay, honey come bring Pimp C. Oh, okay, let me see what's going on. But the crazy thing see, about it though, I think Honeycomb Braze he 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 one of those characters, bro. Like, man, 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 we started talking about lyrics in Texas. I started looking at folks like Scarface. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Pimp C yeah. he, he he was cold with the like putting it on and really, you know what I'm saying? Like selling that swag, but as far as okay, like, okay, I see, I see where you're going with it. I see where you're going. So check it out. What pimp, what pimp used to tell me was, and remember I told you that he would always tell me, little bro, we quarter horses. 
you, you, I don't know if you watch horses and, and races and shit. He say, bun, niggas like bun is long distance runners. You know what I'm saying? They lyricists. They, exactly. You feel me? That's not that's not ever what Pimp was trying to be. Pimp is making the beat, composing the song, damn the recording the shit. And I, uh, I, I, ain't gonna lie, I ain't trying to cut you off, but when you doing moves like that, it take away from your rapping. Cause I was a, I, I, I tried to do beats at one time, but when I got locked up and I started, I, do, writing, I, do I was cold. So that, yeah, yeah. So, so when you when you talking about punchlines and shit, shit, Brazen might have a lot of you know a lot of the younger cats that come out right now might have when it come to that but when you talking about as a whole as a as an artist a producer a composer uh come on man yeah come on man yeah. I, 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 know, I, I know i know where you at with it i know where you at with it but you More you got that. to you feel me? Yeah, and then see, I, I just seen people like my brazer were more street than him, but I don't even want to get into it, like who was more street, because you know what I'm saying, like everybody the proof is in the point. Both of them guys really kind yeah, of that's, street. You that's know what I'm stupid. Yeah, that's just so, stupid. I can tell you this much now, like, okay, so so they saying who most street, right? Yeah. What the fuck that matter? They both come out the they both out the streets, nah. Yeah, they you know both out the streets. That's, yeah. that's, yeah, that's where it kind of, but my nigga, if we talking music, we talking, we talking history, my nigga. Pimp is one of the folk the 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 music. They, they make the best music, putting your life inside these songs. They make the best music, right. bro. If you ain't, if you right. ain't never struggle and you trying to make a struggle song, you, you're going to be blank. Or you, you're right. a good visionary, but when you make it feel it, because you didn't really been through it, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. See, it's, it's. But when you looking at, at legendary shit, my nigga, just be for real. Like, I ain't taking nothing away from Braze. I told you, I, bruh, if anybody can feel where the little nigga coming from, I feel it. You and know you was saying? only I, rap a lot, wasn't it? Yeah, well, I didn't sign to him, but yeah, I did business with him. I didn't had all kind of shit. Niggas, lawyers and shit still involved to this day. So you, you, you feel really me? You should go over there with Barry Mine. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? So I don't, I don't, I, I take everything else aside because when I first heard it, I wasn't high. I didn't have no weed. And it kind of fucked me up. I was like, what the fuck you say? But nah, man, you listen to little homie, what he's trying to say is. I think, I think, I can't say what he's trying to say. But I think what he's trying to say is, nigga, you know, he just expected that same. Look. You feel me? Yeah, I don't just, him saying he harder than Pimp C, I don't. I don't, I don't agree, but that's his opinion. That's, you know, that's cool. But you can see yeah, when you're doing from. this shit, you're supposed to feel like you're the best. But no, nah, I can't, I can't say that, my nigga. I can't now. But the nigga doing this thing, how you gonna take anything away from the nigga okay. changing everything you drop? Okay, I'm gonna bring it to, to his level then. How how you feel about who, who the hardest between him and Finesse? Keep it real. I don't know, my nigga. I don't know. Keep I it really always real. Stuff. I think, okay, what are we talking about? We talking about lyrics or we talking about street shit? Oh, both of them. Let me hear both ends. Okay, music wise, I think finesse harder. Street wise, I think honeycomb is the truth. But you see what I'm saying? Yeah. I know how to tell the difference between the motherfucking artist and the person. I always have. You feel me? So finesse as an artist, the way he just, just his cadence, his flow, I like that. I like. Honeycomb flow, but just I like finesse is better. But to me, in my opinion, Honeycomb story, I want to hear that more. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not saying I listen to finesse before yeah, Honeycomb. See, you're, you're in Mississippi, so I know you're gonna like the like finesse beat pattern better. You know, he got a better beat selection because you're so close to Memphis and you, you know, Memphis, you probably yeah. about three six and pimp seeing all this. So now, nah, but you gotta understand, homie, I ain't nothing but an hour away from Brazen. Nigga, Brazen and Mobile, I'm from the Gulf Coast. I'm from Gulfport, Biloxi. I'm from the bottom, nigga, with an ocean at. Yeah, so you yeah, way far. Memphis all the way is the top. Yeah. So yeah, I fuck with the Mobile sound. Mobile. Mobile, the Gulf Coast of Mississippi and New Orleans is all pretty much like one motherfucking thing down here because they right by each other. You know what I'm saying? So, no, nah, it ain't that. It's just, you know, I'm an artist. I'm a, I'm a producer. I hear what I hear. I whatever, whatever. Uh, Brazy's story is more 
Like, I would want to hear more of that. Just finesse this guy catchy shit. You see what I'm saying? We talking about an artist from a from a real live street nigga, right? Exactly. All right, then. It ain't so hard. You, if you can tell Braze anything right now, you know what I'm saying? All these guys, matter of fact, we ain't leaving nobody out. If you can tell Braze something, you can tell Finesse song, you know what I'm saying? What you would tell those guys right now? Man, really with Brazy, I I feel him, bro. I done been I've been there. I ain't I ain't had to do no jail time or nothing. I'm a little too smooth for that. I don't get caught. But you know when Pimp passed away, this it's some shit we'll talk about off here. Me and you, you understand? So I done been I done been yeah, I done been, you know, kinda where he at. Not quite, but like, you know, where I'm you know, I got respect for the old man. I mean the old man cool as fuck. He Whatever, you know, it's some shit the other motherfuckers be doing that the old man don't even be knowing about. You did? Exactly. So with Brazy, I was just telling my nigga, you know, I feel you. I'm, I'm, yeah, I know what it's like to be aggravated. I know what it's like to be whatever. But I, I can't really tell that man shit because I got blackballed, nigga. This shit happened yeah. in 2008, 2008 and kept going until like last year. Exactly. It's, it's different now. Brazy ain't got to worry about being blackballed. Shit, he, he, Fall out with them with shit. He can holler at Birdman, whoever, whatever. All I would tell him is my nigga just slow down. Like, don't be in a rush to leave this bitch. Like, exactly. I, I I hear what the nigga be saying. You know, you we're, we're in the streets, though. Niggas just gotta take this shit. Yeah, slow yeah, down, my nigga. Whatever come with it. You know how it go. Yeah. yeah. That's that's what I would tell Brazy, man. Not that nobody gotta fucking listen to me, man, but I done been through yeah. some shit, homie. So and, what you gonna uh, tell for this, man? I mean, finesse just need to, man, just keep rapping. Don't try and get in on, on, on the street shit. That's what I would say. Don't try and get on the street shit with Brazy. Like, I tell him he yeah. need to uh, straighten it out and, and make it right with that man. You know what I'm talking about? bring the culture together. I mean, right of course, that's, that's common sense. sense. That's common sense. Don't drop that song and stop being scared. You know what I'm saying? This is a competition thing. still in the time and when it's said and done. We want to hear that song so my guy can go eat it up. You know I got to ride with my guy, man. He, show, he blessed me. He showed me love. So it is what it is. Yeah. That's what but I see, let me tell you something, though. Let me tell you. You asked what I think. Brazy told him if you drop that shit, I'm on your ass. Okay? Wasn't we just talking about, like, you know what I'm saying? An artist and a street nigga. Exactly. He, I, I he, think, saying he, he, on, he on him like, man, he gonna, he gonna demise. I, I think he's saying I'm on your ass musically. I'm gonna tear your ass up. That's exactly. what I think he's saying. That's what I'm thinking he's saying, yeah. That's I think right. Finesse looking at it like the nigga saying I'm on your ass, nigga. But thank God, Finesse still ain't dropped. You know what I'm saying? Like, exactly. He don't he want to drop that. He don't want, them, he don't want them fucking problems, bro. <laughs> what are y'all? Damn, bro, leave him alone. He don't want them problems. For real, he don't want them problems. Hey, tell these folks yeah. man, how they find you, my G. And we gonna come back next Saturday, man, with another one, man. Y'all know what's going on. Let these folks know hey, how Shit, uh, really, man. I apologize to everybody who fuck with Pimp and everything else, bro. I went through a depression, nigga. I was down for four and a half, five years. I'm back, nigga. We just uh the Beehive interview just dropped. Y'all go check that out on Beehive channel. I just did ugly money. Um, shout out to Pimp and Ken. My shit is uh, at 17 the Hog. At the number one, number seven, T H E H O G G. Shout out to all the folks out there, man. The, the uh, ugly yeah. money, Pimp, you know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Everybody out there. Shout out to D High, Pimp and Ken, H H F, everything. Y'all finna see the. For y'all that ain't seen the movement yet, y'all seen it. We uh we got the documentary. we working on a documentary for Pimp. And uh it's a Pimp C documentary. We ain't gonna give right too much. Let, let them, you know what I mean? We yeah, yeah, I'm gonna shut up. Y'all just tuned you know. in, bro. We got, we got major yeah. stuff coming. I ain't going to talk Y'all see, I'm locked in with everybody, man. Y'all need any type of promotion. Hit me up. Oh, man. Everything we saying, I'm oh, yeah. for entertainment purpose. But y'all know what's real. Oh, man. Understand, G.